everybody. This is Ava with My Brainy Mess. How is everybody? I'm good. Can't complain. What's everybody up to? Uh, I'm in here, sitting here, trying to get myself going on the Dear Julie Julie uh, uh, journal. Uh, and I keep getting sidetracked and want to do other things. Um, I have some earphones on. I'm going to take off. I'm wondering if it's going to mess me up. Hold on. Let's see. Hopefully not. Uh, they were hurting my ears, and I forgot I had them in. Ooh, it hurts. Okay. Um, I wanted to show off. Oh, first off, I want to um, welcome Maggie Mullins, a new subbie for my ch channel. I mostly appreciate it. Thank you so much, Maggie, for joining in. I hope you enjoy my videos. Um, I've been working on the Pick 3 with Cree uh, tags. Um this week was, uh, I'm doing six, seven, and eight, and this one is uh, a book page, fabric, and stripes. So I did, there's a book page underneath, there's the stripes, and then I made a little fabric flower, and uh, that took care of uh, day six. Uh, this one didn't turn out so well. I was very disappointed. Uh, this is uh, day seven. And it was stamp, sandpaper, and, fa and face collage. The sandpaper is right here. I did some stamping uh, in the background. And then I used uh, Dina Wakeley's uh, face uh, tissues. Uh, it's underneath here. And as you can see, there's a little face here, here. And if you look real close, there's a face in there and there. The flowers kind of got lost in the flowers and didn't come out the way I wanted it to, but that's not one of my favorites, but hey, it meets the criteria, <laughs> so it's it's in there. But this one, I turned out really, really good. It's uh, number eight, is Sparkle, Overlap, and Tea Bag. Uh, I had some, you know, family-sized tea bags that you get uh, to make a big pitcher of tea, and I've been saving those, and now I can't find them anymore. I want to get some more of those tea bags because I'm almost out of them. But I would save them, and they were big sheets, you know, pretty good-sized sheets. Well, I took um, four sheets. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, four sheets, and I painted them with acrylic of uh, turquoise, purple, yellow, and pink. And then I teared them and collaged them and overlapped them over the colors and you can kind of see some of the overlappage, you know, that kind of changed some of the coloring. Uh, anyway, it, it turned out really neat, but the, uh, the, uh, day eight is sparkle overlap and tea bag. Well, uh, the sparkle is the, uh, I mod podged it with that, with glitter mod podge. And then I again overlapped my, uh, transparent, stamps on top of it and then made some little had some little tiles and and put those on there i love this and i love that tea bag effect uh of the uh that turned out really good i want to use that more often that is a neat neat process so anyway that was that and i still have nine and ten to go for the week uh nine is turquoise mica and collage somebody told me to use uh Shadow, uh, well, I have some shadow here, and it looks like the only thing that might have mica in it is the green, yellow, and this bronzy color. I think the rest of them are, are opaque, I mean, uh, matte. I don't know. I was kind of playing with it, and I'm not so sure uh, it's going to do very well. Uh, I don't see the mica in that very well. Um, I was playing it with this. Now that showed up a little bit better. And then we got the yellow. I don't know. 
It's just not as sparkly with the mica. I don't see that much uh, color. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I don't have any mica, so I don't know uh, how to use mica with that. It's turquoise mica and collage. And then uh, for, uh, tomorrow is weave, black and white, and mark making. So there we go. So I'll be doing those two tags uh, probably this evening uh, when I ain't got nothing else to do. Anyway, back to the Dear Julie Julie. Um, let's see what else was I going to talk about. Yeah. Um, I've been trying to go over the Dear Julie Julie requirements. And here's my Dear Julie Julie uh, journal. And again, I still need to work on this part of it. Uh, I'm still wanting to, to kind of do something here with with it to give it a 3D look and put some uh, stuff behind it. I don't know. I'm still working on that issue. But anyway, uh, I've been kind of working on some of the stuff. Um, one is, um, let's see, there's a book page yellowed edge book page pocket with tag well i made the um the pocket and it's kind of a yellowed page uh but i turn around and sewed the pocket so that's one element of the you have to have three elements uh to decorate your pocket i put a little pocket uh which to me it, in it and used a digital uh, so that's two and then I added two elements in the pocket. I uh, have an envelope, which I've got to put something in. And I also have a little, just a little journaling card. So we've got though that taken care of, except it has to have an insert. Well, one of these uh, things was you had to do um, patchwork tags for the job. I didn't realize there was supposed to be four of them because it doesn't say it on the there on on here, but in the website, uh, uh, everybody's doing four patchwork. So I'm thinking it's the same type of patchwork, uh, the stack and whack. So that's kind of what I did on these. Uh, I'm going to get this out of the way. Uh, on these uh, little, I did five of them. No, I didn't. I did four. No, I did five. I did five, I thought. Yeah, I did. I did five. There's the other one. Huh. Uh, so I'm going to be using them. Uh, this, But uh, they have to have a job. Well, I did made one. I thought we just had to have one, but it looks like we have to have four. Uh, so I've got five here, but we had four. Uh, I had, I sewed around. That's one part of the element. Put, put staple. I, I um, distressed it with some blue. So that's two, three, and staples is four. And washi tape is five. So there you go. And then with the job, I made a little pocket and added two little inserts. Uh, little journaling cards inside of it, which I thought was cute. But not only did I do that, turn around, made a little belly band, and had a little journaling card and a little tablet to go on it as well. So that was my tag with the job. And now I'm finding out I've got to do these, uh, make jobs out of these too. Um, I thought it was just going to be I was a little frustrated with that, so I've got to work on jobs for these three. So this one I'm going to put away. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to work on these to make them have jobs and uh, go from there. So I think the best way to do is to make pockets out of these. So that's what we're going to do. Um, 
I'm kind of thinking of, uh, I think, I, well, I know where I want to put this one. So I'm thinking I want to do a belly band in the back. Uh, and let's see what I have in here. I had to get organized the other day and put a lot of my stuff in here. And I have some. This would be kind of pretty. Put that as a tag in the back and make this into a belly band. Um, I think this one will do. Um, or do I want to do it this way? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do it this way. So, Scissors. I um, have a chance to go on a retreat in Independence, Kansas with, with some of the Dear Julie Julie members. And I live in Texas and I'm really just fussing over this idea of go I want to go so bad but I'm just wondering if I can handle that it's an eight hour drive there and that means I would have to go by myself by myself guys I'm a 67 year old woman and I'm debating on whether I want to make that drive. That's just down there. Luckily, it's a week retreat, so I don't have to come home uh, anytime soon. And uh, and I can leave, come and go and leave when I want to. It's not like I have to stay the whole 10 days. And uh, I was kind of hoping because since I have to go through Dallas, I was kind of hoping I could get a volunteer to to meet somebody in Dallas and drive part of the way with somebody. But that has not happened. <laughs> Nobody's volunteering. And I know for a fact there's three ladies that are in Dallas that they're all driving together. And I was kind of hoping that they would volunteer their services. But, again, they're not... They're leaving early. Not, they're not going up there until Sunday, and I like to go up there earlier, so that's probably better that I just go on my own, and that way I can come and go when I please. Uh, I don't know. But I want to go. I'm just kind of a, a scaredy cat. <laughs> a little... Sorry about that. I got kicked off. Uh, an amber alert came through and and kicked me off. So uh, I don't know how much of y'all got all that, but you know, I could put some of that there too. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, Let's see. We could use a piece of ribbon. Or a piece of cloth. That might be an idea. Mm -hmm. Nah. 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 Oh, I got new. Doesn't necessarily have dear Julie Julie stuff on it. Kind of like 
this piece. And I'm seriously thinking about doing it going down this way. Changed my mind. Um, I really want to go. I want to go. My husband says it's okay. He didn't care if I go. So that's not an obstacle. I can't afford to fly down there. Um, and plus, I want to bring some stuff. So I'm thinking the best way to do it is just drive, Ava, drive. Besides, I kind of like to meet everybody. I really, really, really would. Make them feel more real. You know what I mean? Been conversing with a lot of these people and and I kind of like to get to know them better. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Be kind of fun. There. Okay, let's decorate these a little bit. I, I'm going to leave this one alone because that's already stenciled and kind of like to leave that. But this I want to do something with. Let's. Uh, mm, some book pages. Where are the book pages? Mm. You know, I got a call from my oncologist today and usually I only have to go to my oncologist once a year. I got a little bit of into an argument with my the nurse practitioner or whoever assists doctor, my doctor. And uh, I was a little frustrated because I was having a hard time getting one of my drugs and they wouldn't fill it. And I was telling her I was having a hard time getting it filled. And she says, because you haven't been in here in over a year. I mean, uh, over two years. And I go, that's not true. I was there last year. And she says, not according to my records. <laughs> according to her records, it was like December 23rd of 2023. Was it 23? No. 2022. No. Yeah. 2000 of 22. So we went a year to 2023 and um, two months. So it was a year and two months that that I was not there. So, and it wasn't like I was trying not to go. It's just, you know, it was Christmas, the holidays. And, and, uh, so I figured I'd wait till after the first of the year that I went on a cruise. And so when I got back, well, of course they couldn't take me in right away. They first wanted my mammogram 
So I had to get my mammogram first and, and then get my get in. And it just aggravated me, her attitude towards me. Like I, you know, I go, well, you know, if I really needed that drug, you were going to, you know, it wasn't like I was, I mean, I had an appointment scheduled. It was almost six weeks before I could get my drug in. And I was just really aggravated um, because they wouldn't give it to me because I hadn't been in. Well, I'm glad it wasn't an emergency type drug. It was just a, a drug to keep me from my cancer to come back. Okay. I kind of wanted more in there because it's just not staying in there. I need something else. But uh, it was just kind of aggravating me. <laughs> I tell you, I was just... <clears throat> Doctors, I tell you, they get on my nerves sometimes. I need to get a doctor down here. I'm really tired of driving up there down in Webster. Let's see. Maybe we can put one of these. Let's see. Oh. That's kind of pretty. trying to build a lot of ephemera in there as much as possible. Okay, that's one. Okay, then, and I've already got all the bells and whistles to, I've got lace. I put a cluster on there that I made, which was part of an element that I already did, and I sewed around it, so that's one, two, three. So we have to have at least three. So that should take in the, so I have four items and then I've got the job, the belly band. And uh, one of the attachments is part of the Dear Julie Julie. So, and I have a Dear Julie Julie uh, journaling card. So that should take care of that. All right, then we have this one, which I already put a Dear Julie Julie on there and some, and uh, of course there's Dear Julie Julie, um, uh, patchwork in here and then I put a tab so we're already at one two three and it's sewing four okay so then I want to do something on the back I put a piece of washi back there because I've got staples in there and they're kind of sharp they're sharp they're really sharp um I'm gonna continue with the belly band scenario. Or maybe I will do a tablet. That might be a good idea. <clears throat> oh. oh, I have got to do some coffee dyeing, guys. I am just about out of my coffee paper. I need to do some. shut the door in this office and it just gets really warm in here. <clears throat> my yard man came out today and mowed my grass. Man, the weed, weeds were getting crazy. I'm not so sure I like this mo this guy. I, I don't like the way he mows. I really like the last guy I had, but I, he was just so undependable. He, um, He would say he'd show up, and then he don't show up. Now, this guy, he drives me crazy. He, show, he calls me all the time. <laughs> he 
You know what I mean? And I don't like the way he mows. He doesn't use a bag on his mower. And uh, so it, all the weeds and stuff are laying in the ground. You know, they didn't get picked up or anything, which is kind of frustrating. Let's see. But we'll use him for a while and see how it goes. You know, if it gets to a point he's not gonna do what I need him to do, then I'm gonna have to probably find somebody else. I'm gonna stagger these. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna cook tonight. Oh yeah, I do. I don't really wanna cook it. Getting so sick of cooking. My husband cooked last night. He made gumbo, which is always a treat when he cooks. Okay. I thought maybe I'd put it all the way up here to kind of cover that, but no, I think I'm going to do it here. Put something here. <clears throat> Do I have anything? Do I have any? I can use that. Staple it. Yeah, let's staple it. Okay, put some fabric tack behind it. It's really warm today. <laughs> but you know, I, I've talked about my swing in the backyard um, several. Oh, in past videos when I was sitting out in the swing. Just about time to start sitting out in the swing again. Here lately, it's been too cool in the mornings, but uh, it's been very uh, warm these last few mornings. I've just not got out there to put my cushions back on and because it keeps threatening to rain and and it's kind of a pain to keep going back out there and, and uh, Uh, to keep going back out there and um, bring in the cushions and what have you. Okay, here we go. There's our job. We got a little tablet here. Okay. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? All winter long, we have had problems. Let's get this out of here. We have been having problems um, keeping, we have a tarp. Uh, kind of a cover over it and whenever there's a bad windstorm or a bad storm to come through it will lift that tarp up and 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 pull the the um, the um, uh, went the uh, swing over and uh, we'd have to reset it all back up and everything and <laughs> it's been a real pain all winter long trying to keep that keep that swing upright well my husband's been trying to figure out a way to um, fix it. Okay, what am I going to do here? Uh, to see now, I only have one distress and sewing, so I need to come up with a couple more items on here. 
and I want to do another Dear Julie Julie digital to kind of, oh, that would be pretty on there. <clears throat> mm, I kind of like that. Um, so he, he's been trying to figure out a way to keep it upright. And he's put some anchors down once, and it wasn't anchored enough, or evidently, and a windstorm came through and blew it down again. <laughs> well, this time, I'm hoping it'll stay, because he has got it really anchored this time. I mean, he's, I mean, he went out to my garden and got some garden stakes, and, and uh, uh, he's really got it anchored, so we'll see how that goes, but... Uh, we're waiting for a windstorm to come through to see, and it's supposed to be a, it's supposed to rain this evening, so we're hoping uh, to see if that's going to happen. But I got a feeling what's going to happen is going to tear the tarping tarp off uh, completely and rip it. And that's something I've got to think about. Where is my? Sorry, guys, I'm looking for my distress stuff. I, here's this, but where's my? My brusher. Where'd it go? Where'd it go, Joe? You should keep it in here. And it's not there. Oh, there it is. It got on the other side of my bucket. <coughs> I couldn't see it. So we'll see if it'll stay, but I have a feeling the tarp's gonna rip and or bend the frame of the tarp. Um next time it gets a bad one. So I'm sitting here thinking, I was telling my husband, you can't just take the tarp off it, it because it feeds into the frame and there's no way you can take it off. Um, so I'm thinking I may have to cut it, cut the top of the frame and maybe put a Velcro uh, thing on it to, I don't know. I, I just, I told my husband, I, I don't know. What more to do? I'm going to put some of this on there. <clears throat> so, we shall see. I may have to take it completely off the frame off. I, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to have to come up with something. Come up with something. If it blows this time, and I, I'm just afraid it's going to bend the frame. That's my big concern. I, I worry about that. Once it bends the frame, then I will have no top to my swing. <laughs> that would be it. Let's see. I'm going to... Let's see if I can do it this way. <clears throat> we shall see. So, I'm curious to see what's going to happen. But I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. I mean, that tarp is like it has wings. garbage man haven't come by yet. I've gotten to where they're just getting later and later. Okay. I think that's going to work. Um, Uh-oh.
Oops. I don't know if this is going to work or not. watching uh, Journey to Bethlehem. Has anybody seen that? It's uh, it's a musical about the birth of Jesus. And I don't know that it was all that exciting, but uh, it was different, uh, a different twist on the viewpoint of Mary and Joseph and and Herod the king and and the parents of Mary and Joseph and and the betrothal process and it was kind of interesting. Um, and the music, the music was good. I enjoyed the music, uh, but I like music. Um, they're fun. I want to thinking about putting this. That's a little bit much, huh? Um, but I was sitting there listening to Herod the King sing and, and his betrayal, the, the actor's betrayal of Herod. And I was sitting there trying to think, who is that guy? I know that guy. I was trying to figure it out and, uh, Finally, I figured it out. It's Antonio Banderas. <gasps> Stars! That man has a voice. He's got a gorgeous voice. Of course, I knew he did because I heard him singing with Sarah Brightman uh, with Phantom of the Opera because he's always wanted to do Phantom of the Opera. I was reading an article about him. And I'm so glad to see that he's getting into singing uh, because he's good. I mean, he's good. In fact, I found in the article, I gotta put something there. Um, in that article, they were talking about, um, I think I'll do this, uh, that he was a, he was going to be up for the Phantom of the Opera instead of Gerard Butler in the movie. But since his last few movies has been such a failure, they were scared to use him, thinking he would fail in the, in the, the movie. And uh, so they decided not to use him, uh, which I'm sorry. I, I wish they had have because I really like Antonio Banderas. I just think he's such a neat guy. And I th he would have made a good Phantom of the Opera. I think I'm going to use some of this, but I need to do something on the back. Uh, I think he would have made a good Phantom of the Opera because uh, he did a good job with... Uh, with that uh, YouTube video that I saw. Uh, it was, uh, I'm not quite sure where it was or what, but uh, it was good. Anyway, uh, y'all gotta watch it just to see him sing. Yeah, he's really good. It's on Netflix, by the way. Just a little FYI. Okay, let's see. I'd like to see him do some more singing musicals. Because he's good. I didn't realize he, he was such a singer. And I agree, some of the movies he's been in late last few movies, he has it has not been that great. And this movie is not a big big filmmaker either, but uh it's entertaining. Uh if you like seeing stories of the birth of Jesus, which I do. I always watch every version I can possibly watch of it. There we go. I got that. Let's do something on the back. I'm thinking about doing another tablet since I have the stuff here.
And then I was watching another one. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I don't do much for, in my household. Me and my husband and I sit and watch YouTube videos and and uh, whatever movie we can find that's entertaining. And uh, it was uh, one we caught watched last night uh, called Damsel. And uh, it was about uh, a kingdom, um, two kingdoms coming together to form a marriage between uh, the prince and the princess. But, uh, let's see. How did I do that other one? But, uh, they had alternative motives. Uh, the, the, the kingdom with the plants <clears throat> had alternative motives of getting these princes, uh, to get these princesses married to the prince so they, there would be royal blood, and they sacrificed them to the uh, to a dragon. And uh, it is kind of interesting how she uh, escapes and be befriends the dragon. And uh, it was pretty fun. It was a pretty fun show. Pretty some intense areas there when. Didn't think she was going to make it out of that cave without that dragon burning her to death. But uh, it was a fun movie. I enjoyed it. Kind of weird, but I enjoyed it. But I was trying to figure out the lady in that show, and uh, I figured out who she was, finally. It took me forever. It was L. In the movie, in the series, uh, Stranger Things. <clears throat> this is the actress there. She's cute. But, uh, uh, I can't get this. Well, this is taking a lot longer than I anticipated. Probably because I'm jacking my dolls. Not paying attention to what I'm doing. <clears throat> But, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> plugged up as always. We've been watching another YouTube video called um, Heights. Um, oh, Heights Farms, I think it was. It's a, a show that does homestead farming. And uh, I don't want that. I want something else. Oh, I got some of this left. Um, and they have a, a, they, they, I think I talked about them once, uh, about them, their emu. No, I probably not. Uh, their emu, um, he has an emu that follows him and <laughs> when he's filming and stalks him, it's funny. It is, it's funny watching him, uh, when you're, uh, He's walking around with his GoPro or whatever, and you can see the emu behind him, <laughs> just stalking him and kind of lowering his head around his shoulders, and and uh, it, it's funny. It, it, it cracks me up, and he goes, he goes, I'm glad y'all think that's, this is funny, but it ain't funny to me. <laughs> he goes, I'm not enjoying it one bit, 
<clears throat> Evidently, every once in a while, he'll bite him on the ear. <laughs> We've not seen that one in the in the video, but uh, he, he said it, it, it happens. <clears throat> um, I can't remember what he called him. He has a name, but it's funny. But anyway, they, they have two um, guard dogs. Um, what is it? Misky? Misky is the male, and Cora is the female. Well, Cora... Uh, just had, had, well, eight weeks, six, seven weeks ago, had puppies. And, uh, and we got to watch that birth of the puppies and, and watch these puppies grow up. And next week, they're going to have to go off to their new homes. But, uh, last night they, uh, were filming them. They had this huge farm and they were, they let the puppies out and let them go nuts in the, in the, in the yard. And, uh. I was worried that they were going to go too far, but they always came back, and it was it was just so cute watching those puppies. And Cora, the the mama, uh, at first she was very protective. Then she noticed that they were doing okay, so she would just let them let them run, <clears throat> and she would sit and play with them too. And it was just so sweet watching them. Puppies are so sweet. They're just so sweet. I just love puppies, but uh, I can't think of the name of that. It's Heights something, Heights Farms. I don't, I don't remember, but uh, I like that show because uh, it's a family oriented show and, and uh, him and his wife are very involved and every once in a while the kids get involved, but not very often. They, they, said about they've been on it doing this for five years and and they said the kids used to be part of it all the time but now they've gotten older they're getting camera shy <laughs> uh, but uh, but i enjoy watching that it's one of our fun things to watch especially since they've had the puppies so, okay i've got my four for, uh, what do you call it, uh, patchwork with jobs. This one has a pocket and a belly band. This one has a belly band. And these two have tablets. So there we go. Oh, 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 I got, I was excited. I need a topper for that, but I've got one. So there you go. We've got that done. Okay, do we have time to do anything else? Yes, we do. Okay. All right. Um, clean up my mess here. I gotta work on these ruffles. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these ruffles. How to make them. Dear Julie, Julie, eligible. <laughs> um, I wasn't even paying attention until I realized I have to do three things to embellish them. And they have to have the Dear Julie, Julie digital. Now, this one is a Dear Julie, Julie digital, so I'm not concerned about this. But this one isn't, and this one does not have Dear Julie, Julie. So, and I've got to embellish this. I guess the sewing is one embellishment. Um, so I got to do something else with it. Um, I could do wondering. Let's, I 
need it to be big enough to... I want to cut this. It's the only thing about, bad about cheesecloth. It wrinkles so bad. I wonder if I can rip it. Will it rip? Not the right way. So, no. I need my cloth scissors. Hold on. It would be a little easier. Oh. I've had this cheesecloth forever and hardly ever use them. I've got two old big things of it. Debating on how I want to do this. It would be kind of fun to take some embroidery floss, maybe tie it, or I could sew it on there. Why don't we sew it on? What do you think? That would be kind of fun. And that would be two elements. But what can be the third element? What could be the third element? I wish I had some gold paint. I don't think I do. I think. Why don't we do that? That'd be the third element. I just want to do the edges. I don't want to do maybe just one side of the edge. is full of water. It's <laughs> oh how funny. I don't know where other my other plastic brushes are. I need to buy some more of these. I kind of like them. Um I saw a bunch of them at Michael up. Uh, Hobby Lobby the other day when I was over there. I may want to get some. 
Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, I just want a little bit. Just enough to make it sparkle. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I think. It's getting hot in here. Let's see. Wish I thought of this before I ruffled it. It'd probably have been better. Get that dried real quick. Whoa. So on it until I uh, Mod Podge dries. That's kind of pretty. Thinking though, I need to put some more down here. Cause I was kind of just kind of lenient with it. I don't think I want to do it on the other side. I think I just want to keep it on this side. dry it off and then I'm gonna set it aside let me go put this in the water <laughs> and my water bucket over here on the table I need to go and <laughs> rinse my brushes out and stuff and just haven't done it yet Let's do this for a little bit, and then we'll set it aside, let it dry really good, and then we'll work on this other ruffle, these other two ruffles. I think I'm going to put that cheesecloth in the middle of it, so that'll give me three elements. Um... Then, I don't know what I'm going to do about the, uh, the Dear Julie Julie elements. I 
might put uh, some of the small, put them on bow pins on the edge of the page. Okay. <clears throat> Let's set that aside for now and let it dry. Okay. That's that one. And then we're going to put that on there. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Now, what about this one? I don't know. Distress it first off. We can do that. And that will be a second moment. Okay, I already have the Dear Julie Julie element on here, so I don't have to worry about any of that. It's already on here. Thinking about backing it with lace. Let me do that. Do it to one side. And that way, when you put it on a page, it'll be kind of pretty. Okay, how am I going to do this? Why don't we do it this way? Now, which side of the 
booger do I want to put this on? Let's put it on this side. So, I'm going to do it this way because I think it would be easier. And I'm going to use fabric tac So, Do I need uh, this? Needs to go on the front, so wait a minute. I want it over a little bit further because I don't want it to. Don't go over too far. I don't want you to go over too far. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue. Okay. That is scissors. scissors, scissors. There we go. And that would be pretty on top of, yeah, like that. Okay. So there we go. We got that one. That's done. We've got the sewing down the middle, we got the distress ink, and we got the lace. So, and we got the Dear Julie Julie uh, paper, using it as a, get that to dry. All right. Okay. Now I have this one. What are we going to do with it? I have no clue. That one doesn't seem like it is 17 inches. Uh, it's not quite. It's just 16 and a half. Oh well. It's going to have to do. Okay. What shall we do with this? Washington. Oh, that's a 
Are these washi tape? Where is it? That would be pretty on here. Okay, let's think about that. That would be pretty down the middle. That would give me two elements. Still need a third element though. Put embroidery something. Oh, I don't know. Put stamp maybe. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know how to fix this up. Idea. Oh man, I hate this thing. <laughs> I lost my my and now I can't find it. Oh, are you kidding me? lost the metal to my uh, <laughs> oh, there it is <sighs> I miss my old my old uh, pa paper cutter miss it a lot let's see Is it? I don't want to go past time. Oh, we're already past time, guys. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I thank y'all from the, uh, and I'm going to do this off camera, and I'll come back tomorrow and show y'all what I've done. Uh, I thank y'all from the top of my brain to the bottom of my feet. Please like and share and subscribe to my video. I would mostly appreciate it. Otherwise, uh, y'all have a blessed day, and I'll see y'all on the flip-flop. Bye.